Hi, I'm K Curd. Hello, I'm Marcus Bronzy. Um, this is Ain't Got a Clue. What's that name, man? Um, uh, uh, what I did want to say is, right, I've been, uh, we haven't been ourselves no. right, since the beginning of the year. Right? Yeah. Um, Before even. Yeah, well, in yeah, my case. Yeah, you were, f- you were finitoed, bruv. Yeah. Right. And I was like, who has been waiting on our downfall, bruv? Mm. Yeah, it's somebody that's been watching these, yeah, or, or listening to these, yeah. yeah. Big evil eye. <laughs> I'm going to come in here one day. I'm going to come in with yeah. them big, you know, them blue eye, evil eye yeah, things. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I'm going to give one to you and one to, or, or just have put one some, here. And put some of them dream and nightmare just catches put them. Up. No, just put them be- behind each of us. We don't even need to be wearing them. Yeah. Put them behind each of us, just yeah. so yeah. anybody watching, blind your blood clot. <laughs> Blind your blood clot. Okay. Yeah, what's going on though, bruv? I, I like I like that when when you use a Jamaican swear word, the um, algorithm can't pick it up. So it yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. yeah uh, what's been going on? Um, Shout out to my Jamaican friends that realised that they could say clot at home if they were talking about a dish clot. They got away with it, innit? Yeah, that's how you... Oh, no, 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 it was a dish, dish clot. <laughs> dish clot. Yeah. There you go. Um, I've been ill. Listen, I've been ill, bro. Um, What's wrong, Ken? And the NHS, can I say the NHS is finished? Really? It's finished. Let's get into it, bro. It's finished. Let's get into it. <laughs> it's finished. What, what do you mean to say, what, bro? What, go on, let's oh, talk, Everyone's bro. like, oh yeah, talk to the. Um, everyone's like, bro, you need to talk to the doctors, and you know me, mm. right? Typical man, right? No, nah, I don't need doctor, bro. What's doctor gonna do for man, bro? <laughs> Just. I did some push-ups. That should no. work it out of my system. I'll drink a protein shake yeah, 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 and yeah. that will be I'll fine. Bro. Sweat it out of the gym. Yeah. yeah. Shout out to the friend that tries to like sweat out a broken leg at the gym. Yeah. yeah too much, bro. <laughs> yeah, you're doing too much. That's the, um, that's, that's that version of, um, you know, like, do your parents ever go just to have some tea or like? Yeah, have yeah. a good night's sleep. A cup of tea. I have a cup of tea. Good night. Have, we'll have some tea, no milk. You can't have it. It's, it's black tea. Yeah, black tea. Go to bed. Yeah yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Furthermore, in the morning, if you're still feeling ropey, black tea, couple sugars. Black tea. Just have some black tea. Yeah, black tea, yeah, yeah. Black tea is the answer yeah. to everything, to every ailment mm-hmm. in in certain households. A hundred percent. Yeah. Also, you've <laughs> wait, got wait, me thinking. Wait, wait. Ill? Yeah. Black tea. Black tea. Depressed? Yeah, that's it. Black tea. Black tea. You a bit tired? Black tea. Black tea, yeah. Struggling yeah. at work? Yeah. Black tea. Have some black tea, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. Yeah. Um, you reminded me, we'll get, I want to get into the story of how you're sick. At the gym, I quite literally heard somebody say, I have a torn peck. And a guy said to him, when I have an injury, I just like to work through it. And that's what we should do. Of Your um, muscles are torn. And they're, they're, his plan was, we're going to exercise through torn muscles. I've um, I've heard the same thing various what? times. Where is the logic so, in this? Especially with people with shoulder injuries. They're like, yeah. no, nah, do you know what it is, bro? You just got to work through it. it you know, it, wasn't, that, it, 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 it was a torn one. peck and, and it was a rotator cuff, cuff yeah. injury. And he's going, just work through it, bro. And I'm, I'm like, I'm very good at just at my age now, very good at just staying quiet, not getting in. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not getting in at the, to the barbershop conversations. Yeah. I'm not pitching in. If somebody's doing something dangerous at the gym, I might be like, okay, that's a bit dangerous. But if, if they're not hurting anyone, I'm leaving you to it. But the advice of work through a torn peck. Heck, it's, it's, it's wild, bro. But this is, this is gym guys for you, bro. I think TikTok made us all think we can be, we can all be, we can all be um, scientists. Well, we can all be experts in our field if you say it with enough conviction. What happens is, what happens on TikTok is yeah. people will go, ah, oh, th- there'll be one like magical remedy. Yeah. So, so for example, someone will go black tea. Yeah, right? black tea. Black and tea. someone will be like, oh, um, here are the top three ways black tea can heal, heal all of your ailments. Yeah. And then they'll be watching that video and go, do you know what? If I just have some black tea, yeah. it will fix a torn ligament in my knee. Did you know actually though, black, if you drink black tea... 30 minutes before you eat, it actually burns through, I think it's a third more of the carbohydrates than you would if you were to not have black tea. What source is that? I just made that up. <laughs> and that is how TikTok, <laughs> that's how it works though, isn't it? That is how that it works. Brilliant. That Literally, is, it's how it that works. brilliant. I was, yeah, like, yeah. I, was, I, was, I, was, I was like, fucking hell. That's yeah, 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 yeah. I've been on peppermint tea, right? I haven't had caffeine in two weeks. Yes. Is this related to your so, injury yeah, because or not caffeine, injury? Sickness no, so basically I've got like, I was, anyway, I was sick, wasn't it? Yeah. Right. And they were like, you've got to stay away from caffeine. So I stayed away from caffeine. Can, can we say what's, ask what's up with you on the podcast? You it's sure? basically like close to a stomach ulcer, isn't it? But it's, it's not. But like, yeah, gastritis type shit. Anyway. Does that mean you got dribbly plops or? Yeah, bruv. Real talk. It was mad. It oh, was, oh, I, was cr- I couldn't leave that yard really. Couldn't really concentrate either. It's fire. Were you like, was it holding on to the walls bad? Like at you certain hold- points, yeah. Fuck you know. But it's good. like the toilets are close to wherever I was at home, so I couldn't really yeah. leave in it. Anyway, um, <laughs> do you know the other thing? When I said the NHS like, I can imagine you like Spider Man holding on to two <laughs> sides and all your legs up against the wall, oh, just no, like. Well, 
<laughs> all clothes off. All the, yeah, yeah, you know it. <laughs> Bro, that's it. Is that, I thought that was just me, you know. No, all clothes Backing off. Backing off all the clothes. Hang them, hang them on the back of the door. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Coat yeah. Ain't going to need them for a while. Let's just run the shower now. <laughs> <laughs> was that what it was? Kay's nodding if you're not looking. I was, if you're not I mean, watching I, the video on YouTube. I Kay's was, nodding. I was so, just like, yeah, let me bring a towel in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. After shower. <laughs> Three yeah. showers today, Kate. Bro, yeah, let's, amount, let's not talk about it, bro. The amount of underwear I was changing. Yeah, like, yeah, 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 for real. Yeah, like I, I was waking up and going, "Fucking hell!" Oh man, <laughs> are you fr- are you through the worst of it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm, the dribbly I'm, plops in your pants. Oh yeah, yeah no, no, oh, that's, cool. that's the. That's but anyway, uh, so that was no, that was w- before, and then like it came back in it. So you know, I was better for a while, and then it came back. So it came back, and then anyway, I'm there like I'm I'm struggling through, bro. Like I was getting, it got to a point where the dribbly stuff stopped, mm-hmm. but I was getting real bad cramps and like, Jeez. and I was like like burning sensation yeah. in your stomach, like burning. Yeah, yeah, and I'm like, <clears throat> and then like you know when you move over bloatedness. Anyway, whatever. I'm like someone's like called a GP, so I'm like you know what, I think I might. I might not be Superman. I thought I was Superman because I never get ill. You know that. Yeah. Never get ill. And you and you obviously you've tried the logic of which I'm going to call the Bane logic for now. If you want to become the dark, like if you want to, you know, like was it overcome the darkness, become the darkness? So it's, so you've gone through I the logic of diarrhea. So yeah. someone's <laughs> gone. To, someone, I was going to say a friend's gone to you, bruv. What you need to do is eat more. Yeah. <laughs> what you need to do is just eat through it, bruv. Yeah. Well, you, you're shitting out. You're, you're literally shitting out your soul. You need to eat more, bruv. Yeah. You need to eat six meals instead of three. So you've done that. I've done all of that yeah, stuff. Okay, cool, I've done cool. all. Of, I became diarrhea. You became. <laughs> I, I embodied it. Like, Dribbly plops. Ah, you. <laughs> <laughs> you merely suffered oh, from diarrhea. Sorry. I was molded oh, by it. <laughs> Forged by it in the darkness. In the darkness. <laughs> Forged by diarrhea. Anyway. <laughs> Toilet paper. <laughs> <laughs> Think of the past. Um, anyway. <laughs> I went through all of that and I was yeah. like, Do you know what? Maybe modern medicine needs to, to be looked at, right? Might as well give it a shot. Yeah, might as well, you know. Um, I ring up and I think this was... So by the time this goes out, it's Valentine's Day, isn't it? Mm. Right, so when I rang up, which was ages ago, <laughs> they were like, we've got an appointment on Valentine's Day. Wow. Not a face-to-face appointment, Marcus. Yeah. Over the phone. Jeez. So this was, I was like, this is why I didn't call in the first place. <laughs> like if I had, this is why I didn't call in the first place. Yeah. So then I went through private. And thankfully, I've got the, I've got the capability to do that. Yeah. I went through private. I like um, the way you switched the M word for capability. I've got the m- capability. <laughs> I've got the m- resources. Well, no, I've got the budget. Im- I've got, I've got, the m- I've got insurance. Budgets. I've got yeah. insurance okay, right? cool. so, so, but you don't want to claim all the time, innit? Nah. It's like cars, innit? Like, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so no, that'll like, come out. Tea cut. Yeah, <laughs> you can't tea cut that that belly ache. God. Basically, exactly. Yeah. So, and then it was like the next day, yeah. I had a consultation, and a uh, and uh, I got some medicine. Can we? Can I ask you what medicine? I'm being so crazy. I'm on a couple of things, and then and and a couple of things, and then antiacids, antiacids as well. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to uh, all my older thirty fives who are aware of how they already have that in the lockup. <laughs> that's that's in my holiday bag. Protein inhibitors. Protein inhibitors as well. Yeah, that's, that's Jesus. Yeah. yeah. So um, there you go, bro. Right You're here. consuming a mint tea now. Peppermint. Peppermint, peppermint tea. tea. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Peppermint tea is good for um, uh, what's it settling in your stomach? Apparently. Yeah, man. Apparently, it puts up your. Um, no, don't don't, um, don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. I saw, I saw, I saw your face, and I knew it was, I knew there was gas coming, right? No, it, was, it was just like apparently no, like, it improves your immune system by thirty six percent. Let me just stab you in your tracks right there, brother. What you said was all right, but let me yeah. just stab you right there in your tracks. That was. It is good for a bad belly though, because it's hot water mint. It's tasty as well, and it? it's a nice tea. You know that. Well, Stormzy starts his day with a. Hot cup of yeah, I bet water. he fucking does. Yeah, I bet he does. Yeah, I bet, yeah, I bet he does. Yeah, yeah, Hot yeah, cup yeah. Of water, yeah. So you know, yeah, yeah, um, yeah. <laughs> you know, bruv. I always say we've Stormzy has the same amount of hours in the day as us. That's what I always say. And Love. Beyonce, big up them, and man. Usher as well. There you big go. up them, man. Um, also, um, I was I was wondering. I was no, I was thinking about it this week. Yeah, um, I'm I'm kind of done with hip hop and R and B. Wait, before we get to that. I'm concerned about your health, bro. We can't I'm just skate by that. You, you're fine now, yeah. Well, yeah, I'm, I'm, on, I'm, on, I'm back, back on the road. If we're going for food, where are we not going, and where are we going for food? Or are we right, just right now, I'm not going anywhere with spicy food. 
Wow. Any spices or tomato sauce. So say we went for I'm a I'm not little... going for pasta. Yeah. All I'm doing is going bland. What if we went for one of our celebratory kebab places? Kebab. Yeah, that's fine. But even then... What would we order? I'm just having a... All right, so yesterday, for example, I had a chicken wrap, no flavouring. Mm-hmm. Salad? Yeah. Okay, cool. And and yeah, that's it. Just a dry wrap. Dry wrap. So you got a dry a wrap. A bit of smashed avocado, actually, on the side. Okay, so you're venturing into the world of a little bit of nice fats there. There you go. Yeah, that's healthy fats, but yeah, they're good. Yeah. But it's, it's that stuff that won't aggravate the stomach because tomato, acidic. Mm, mm. Yeah, a lot, a lot of stuff are acidic. So you need to have like bananas. Yeah, you knock it. I was going to say you're knocking off the citrus fruit, other citrus fruits as well, then like no orange, no yes, grapefruit, yeah. yeah. and like that. Yeah. But, but I love grapes, so. Is great is great acidic or is yeah, it yeah. yeah oh man Some but grapes. certain things like the citrus fruits are mad in it like fucking if you have an orange finished finished lemon finished how long are you gonna be like this for then I don't know man I'll, I'll just I'll finish the meds yeah. and then I'll I'll be like let me see if I'm back to normal okay but um I, I had a I had a gym session on Friday. Okay. Still strong to rasp. Really? What do you mean? Really? <laughs> yeah. Nice. Nice. Like, I was just like, hey, bro, put another weight on that. Bro. Really? What are you talking about, bro? Okay. So you were straining hard. You you still felt safe enough to strain in the gym. Good for you, bro. Pop up, pump. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh. By the way, yeah. Did you watch wrestling when you were younger? Of course. Every so often, something happens, and it in wrestling, mm -hmm. and it hits my timeline. Mm -hmm. That makes me go down a rabbit hole. All right. So, The Rock came back. Yes. And I was like, I have to know why he's back. Mm -hmm. The Rock and Roman Reigns. Literally spent, I was on my way to, the car picked me up and I was on my way to a job. Mm -hmm. to, I've, still, I've still been working, by the way, because I'm a fucking trooper. Mm -hmm. And I spent my the whole hour in that journey just going through <laughs> wrestling video i'm so ashamed of myself but it was um it was fun roman reigns apparently i didn't know they were related yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. and roman but they're not really though yeah he's like, my grandfather his grandfather yeah, yeah. did a blood oath they yeah. said anga anga or ainga ainga yeah, that was yeah, it and yeah, i was yeah. like all right yeah okay yeah, cool yeah, sounds yeah. sounds legit do you know what's mad though he slapped some guy yeah, Cody yeah Rhodes. it's wild bruv do you know what's mad so though you like, yeah, it? yeah i have as well <laughs> do you know what's mad though is in <laughs> Bro, it's the rock though, innit? And no, it's, no, no, no. It's, it's it was the way you were acting like, yo, no, oh, 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 tell me what's bit, And then yeah. like your face is like, no, I've seen it. As a, as a broadcaster, I'm, you know, I'm doing it for I've, the listener. I've seen everything. Doing it for you guys. But um, what it is, is, is with Roman Reigns, right? This is, this is what's mad, right? He's, he's gone through so much. It's, he's got sickness and stuff like that. COVID was mad for him. He couldn't wrestle for whatever reason. We're getting oh, to that. It? But he is the most is popular it, wrestler on the roster, right? But, which is mad to me. Which is mad Imagine being in that industry and then at any time The Rock <laughs> just takes a little break comes from, back from from rebooting franchises like yeah. Fast Furious whatever like Well I like, think I think I think The Rock came back to um hide what Vince McMahon's been doing. Oh oh look, listen there's loads did of reasons you see on the it. Did yeah, you yeah see there's loads of reasons but what what I'm saying is ima imagine though you're at the top of your game but someone comes in and just reminds you that whatever you do in your career is finished. You cannot be better than that and, and I, I, but but, but I, wow. do you know what it is do you know what it is obviously the rock is the most electrifying man and all of it yeah, yeah, yeah but apart from that as well nostalgia yeah but of that, course of no, course nostalgia of course the, it's the mad thing is yeah because obviously wrestling's not real in it yeah so what? yeah it's not real what <laughs> but imagine if like ronaldinho yeah. for example in football yeah could come back at the same sort of yeah that's ability. what i mean yeah yeah oh my days that's that's what I mean. Like, imagine you could, and the only way we can do that is with like FIFA. But imagine we just had Beckham back, like Beckham back, Rooney back, yeah, Ronaldinho prime. back, Ronaldo, prime. not not that Ronaldo, that Ronaldo, yeah, that prime. prime Ronaldo, yeah, bro, R nine, R nine, fucking. Anyway, yeah, yeah let's yeah, not think yeah, about yeah, it because yeah, otherwise yeah. we will start wanking. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, 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 it's, it's <laughs> just like <laughs> so because you often. Uh, <laughs> Nostalgic thoughts, <laughs> yeah, um, but, but no, um, yeah, yeah, no. Yeah. Obviously, yeah, you're 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 quite right. Like it, it, that's so mad. Wild. Like you're just doing. I've, I've overcome every obstacle to become the best in my career, and then, if you're some man, and then it's like, yeah, okay, I'm still shit. <laughs> I'm still. Shit. It's just, I think it's it's wonderful to be humbled your, and realize your imposter syndrome will kick in. <laughs> It's mad, isn't it? It's mad. You're it's mad. You've just done therapy to get over all of that, and then yeah. suddenly you hear, hey, you're just smart. Smart. Oh, yeah. or you hear the, <laughs> 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 fucking hell. 
bruv he's 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 electrifying man so yeah the rock's back for a little while um he did you is, see what vince mcmahon was doing by the way yo there's a lot of like I'm, sexual I'm gonna, text messages the, allegedly the broadcast room he's gonna say k i don't know Please allegedly tell me what allegedly, allegedly happened. Allegedly, there was all these leaked text messages of him like sexting this mm. girl. Basically, he was doing, he wanted a lot of cuckold and stuff in it as well. There was, thing, there thing was is some though, stuff yeah. in there when he was like, "I just want to see a big black cock in you" and all that. And I was just like, "Yo, what you need to remember with Vince here is he's fucking old, bruv. He's a old, old, uh, you think? old, old man, <laughs> but he looks younger than a lot of people his age because of the juice in it. He looks." A lot bigger, a lot wider, a I lot did, thicker. Well, ironically, juice makes a lot of people look older. So I don't know why it's had the. Yeah. Well, no, do you know what? Sunbed. Do you know why he looks younger? Yeah. Money. Money? Yeah, yeah. that there. Yeah. Bro, yeah. he's been comfortable for a long time. <laughs> like, yeah, like, a long time. Um, and, and I think tea keeps you looking fresh as well, innit? Some nice good tea in the system keeps you looking young. But yeah, man, he's he is. I don't know how he's managed to bounce back from. Because this isn't the well, first scandal. This is like the four, I thought it's like the third alleged or fourth, scan, eh. fourth scandal that he's he's also, managed to also, walk through. Also, if you're going to get like a scandal what, when you're like near an 80. Mad. He's cool, isn't it? Just fucking, he's, he's cool. He's you've cool. seen the best years of your life. They're not going to yeah. put, put you in a prison with like, hey dog, T yeah. dog from the... From the yeah, <laughs> they're yeah, not going yeah, yeah. to put you in with them man but there. You, <laughs> like, usually older people do like the old trick where when they're going into court, they have a wheelchair or they put big sunglasses yeah, on because they've got that. cataracts. Because this brer is literally, he's in the ring in it sometimes. Yeah. Not have, all the time, but he's been in the ring. Have you seen, you, you must have seen that video where he tears both his quads oh. as he walks in the ring. So what's crazy is someone on my Instagram uh, shout him out, Quick Temper. He is a powerlifter, mm -hmm. right? And he's been powerlifting for years. He was in the army, whatever, yeah. in America, right? Yeah. He's an American guy. And he was doing some warm-up weights that he's been doing for years and years and yeah. years. Yeah. He's doing some front squats. As he comes down, left tendon, what's it? Left ligament popped in his quad. Right one popped. And he's just down on the floor screaming. He was in Colombia, took $8,000. So he crowdfunded it from his Instagram. Mm -hmm. $8,000. To to get him home? No, to get the to get operations him fixed. To, to get fixed. And, it, and his surgeon told him, he was just like, this could have happened anyway. He's like, basically what, if you think about like ligaments, like a rope, yeah. they'd like calcified so much mm -hmm. that like, ev basically, even if he... Was just walking if it was the there, street, he, he could have been walking down the street or like gone up some stairs yeah. and then both of them would have snapped anyway. So he was just like, it It was essentially lucky it happened where it did, where we were so close to the hospital, as well as like... Nothing to do with his powerlifting. It was just his... Well, years can, of... Yeah. Like... Okay. Don't powerlift. <laughs> I'm just saying. If you're listening, no, but years of like effects on it yeah. had created that. But like, I just looked at that and I was just like, it reminded me of the Vince McMahon thing as well. I was like, God. Yeah. yeah. But... um. Yeah. So anyway, because of that, all of that, I haven't been drinking caffeine as well. I haven't had, I haven't had a diet coke. I haven't had coffee, any form of caffeine in about two weeks. How has it been? Because everybody has their own experience. Out of Horrible, <laughs> ridiculous, <laughs> fucking <laughs> bullshit. Everybody tells you, oh yeah, you feel much better. L lies. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you sleep better. No, I still wake up. Still fucking wake up. Do you know, how's your mood been? Fucking grumpy because I've not had my right. morning coffee. All right, I don't know whether this is the weather or just the coffee. I wake up mm. and I shout out fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> you just wake up and look at the sun. Fuck uh, off. No, 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 but there is no sun to look at. <laughs> fuck, he's looking at the sky. No, fuck I, off. I just, look, I just oh, piss off to random yeah. inanimate objects. I'm just yeah, like, oh, yeah. fuck off. Like, and I found myself doing it while I like I'll look at something while I'm walking, and I'm like I'm walking the dog away, and I'm like, oh, fuck. I'm like, it's coffee, lack of coffee, lack of caffeine. These are the the withdrawal symptoms that it's doing to me. It's like sometimes you have to. Th this is good. This is like a therapy session for me today. But sometimes you have to wonder. Is that like, why am I depressed? Oh, the weather, the lack of caffeine, the mm -hmm. bad health, whatever. Mm -hmm. And you're like, oh, I'm not depressed. <laughs> I'm going through withdrawal symptoms. Ah, uh, you're not well, bruv. That's what it is, man. That as well, man. Ah oh, man, yeah. I'm, I, you know what? I can't lie, bro. I've I've been I've been off coffee before. Actually, no, I've been off coffee for quite a while before, but I'm back on it. And it's twice, probably, three times. Yeah, a day. yeah, 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 yeah. I'm I am I'm never leaving. When I worked an office job, yeah, <laughs> slapping them latte in the morning on yeah. the way to work. Get to work. Does anybody want a coffee? <laughs> have a coffee. Yeah, yeah, I'd have about four. Yeah, yeah. Before like, I don't. Oh, that's a lot. 
I was it was, I was, the I was having lattes, yeah, bro. That's big milk as Bare well. Bare milk, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, why am I part of white? Yeah, yeah, oh, man. You're basically drinking, drinking hot milk. milk. That's like a bedtime. Day. That's a bedtime drink, like a hot milk. Uh, before you wake up, yeah, bro. I used to consume a lot. I think I was doing breakfast radio, bro. I was like, um, oh yeah, that's weird. That's weird. double espresso before my eyes were half open. Why. Double espresso before I get in a cab. Double espresso when at I that get there. Point, quad just... espresso. Do you know Starbucks does a quad espresso? Yeah, it's a I'm... normal drink. My Starbucks points were ringing off, bro. I don't know. I don't go to Starbucks. I, this is 10 years ago bro it's 10 years ago it's 10 years ago but yeah my starbucks points were ringing off bro i could i think i was at that point where i had so many points i could just go in and just get coffees for everyone and just flip in free. if you get, get coffee from a bad place yeah that like starbucks is bad coffee yeah right yeah but i understand if you'd gone 10 years ago and it was the only place available because at that point it was. it was probably one of the only places that was like really open early at five in the morning yeah yeah, yeah. and i'm thinking about like where breakfast radio was yeah yeah yeah, there's th th that one is right on Regent Street, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, oh, yeah, this is uh, there was one on Regent Street and there was one that was at the other end near Leicester Square. That was the oh, only one that yeah, was yeah, open. Yeah. Yeah, 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 okay, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, that, it wasn't it wasn't like now where there's independent coffee shops open at 6 a.m. Yeah, and also, like, you could just take a deep oh, you could coffee. coffee machine at bad home. Bad coffee, yeah, yeah, that bitterness. For me, it's when I've I've been um I've been in a, a cafe and then I've gone for like a decaf or something. Usually it's a decaf and they give you the instant granules. You see it? I'm like, nah, man. <laughs> so so I see I've been paying for like peppermint teas, yeah. Yeah. Do you know how much it vexes me? How much does it vex you, Kay? I, I, in, I get in, incandescent with rage, right? Because it will be like because I at home, yeah, I've got the Twinings, yeah, tea bags, yeah, yeah, yeah. I go there, mm -hmm. they. I see them get the Twinings tea bag out, yeah, yeah. put it in a bit of hot water. Yeah, two pound thirty, please. There you go, there you go. My money, hand money over fist. There. So making. what I'm thinking now is, yeah, do I roll with tea bags in my car or bag? I wouldn't and judge then just you if ask you did. for hot water. I wouldn't judge you if you did. There's hot water by the plenty in this. You, you got better hot water here than anywhere else in London, bro. I got fil I got two types of filtered hot water. You Jeez. can have, bro. Yeah, but, but is that cheap? If I walk around with like tea bags and go, can I just have some a cup of hot water, please? You will get charged at certain places if you do that. I've seen that. Eighty p, ninety p. Yeah, 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 quid. You got to pay for that hot water, bro. Yeah, but that's still cheaper than a two thirty. It is, but that's, it's your your what you're paying is for the convenience, okay? If you wish to walk around with tea bags in your pocket, I'm not a shake. I'm not Mister Money with it. <laughs> you, you will have like a minty fragrance you walking around. You smell like spearmint as well, spearmint tea, yeah, peppermint. I mean, I can deal with that. Yeah, yeah. Everyone always comments that I smell nice anyway. So there you go. Now you've got a little minty haze around you as well i feel like if you want to do that kate i'm the sort of person to not judge you somebody else will some well there's always someone to judge someone in it like for example when i eat ramen that was an issue for you where there's plenty of other people I, I for example still, our listeners who were just still absolutely cool you. with it I there still you judge go you for, there you go for having ramen. there you go it's perplexes me a man that would walk with tea bags is upset with me for having I haven't, ramen I haven't walked with <laughs> but you would you're saying you would though I'm you'd saying, be inclined I'm saying, to should i you I'll can if you me. want to you can if you want to would you do that uh no 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 but i always make sure that i'm in reach of good coffee though bruv like it's near me at all times bro <laughs> Man said but, near me. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah 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 he's doing a shoot sorry there's no good coffee near me so i won't be attending this shoot. <laughs> <laughs> there will be no good coffee yeah i'm just imagining you on a film set like in the middle of nowhere and they're like sorry yeah sorry <laughs> What do you mean no, there's, there's no, no coffee, coffee machine? Yeah, yeah. Or you just bring your coffee yeah. machine with you from here. It's like, where can I put this? Bro, if I knew I was, if I knew I was on set for a long time, I'd and I'd bring a coffee machine with me, bruv. I'd bring oh, one something. How successful do you have to be to start making demands for your trailer? Nah, not that successful, bruv. How big does the production have to be? No, that's, but how that's, that's, no. that's what it is. That's that's the key. The no, key I is, ask. Yeah, yeah, the key is, that's what I'm, I'm saying to you. My answer is the key is not how successful you are. Because that is a factor. But how big is the production? You see, when you go into film sets, bruv, everyone is eating and drinking much better quality than if you were like on, for example, no disrespect, EastEnders. Do you get me? And I've worked both I of those that. things, yeah? So the, so when you're on film set, and if, and if the catering is right, especially if you've got someone who's a bit of a money bags on production, yeah, who don't really care. Like, let's say, for example, a Ricky Gervais production, I'm going to presume, yeah, is going to have better catering. I might be wrong. Better catering than somebody who's their first production and, they've, and they're really worried about the but money. But my point is The tight. Rock has got a trailer with gym equipment in it. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah But yeah. that's my point, isn't it? Outliers, like, yeah. How, how successful do you have to be for you to be like, I need, like, I need you guys to bring me a Gale's on site <laughs> like, i think you could ask for that i think you could ask for that there's no way they're bringing a gales for you on site bruv that gales is, yeah i mean that was just a random example for, for, you, for you say Bro. you said that for you say for, for example if you said that it would be probably like um i'm sorry mr curd but can i call you k is that all right uh 
Fuck we haven't cannot. got. We haven't got a game. Oh, so I'm sorry, <laughs> Mister. Um, <laughs> Don't look at me. Face the wall. But yeah, you, face, they'd be face like, the wall. "How dare you believe that you yeah. are of the same level as me?" I'm joking. They'd be like, you, "We can't get gales, but we have this." What is it? What do you want specifically? And then if you wanted a specific thing, they'd try and make it happen for you, bro. A hundred percent. I walked past gales yesterday, right? Um, and um, I saw what's it? Almond croissant at six hundred and eighty-nine calories. Yeah, man. But you know what? It tastes so good. So fucking good. I love it. The place I got this, I got you an almond croissant from last yeah, week. Yeah, yeah. How did that taste? It's fucking delicious. Do, yes. you want, do you want to know the truth as well? I had an almond croissant from somewhere else the day before. It might have been a Gales as well. Yeah. I love almond croissant. Yeah. I, I, I kind of thought you did. That's why yeah. I got it for you. But like this place, what is it called? Uh, let me see it. Ore. Ore. Hip hip. Ore. Ore. You know where it is, innit? I have Westbourne no idea. Westbourne Grove. No idea. Westbourne no idea Grove. Westbourne Grove. Yeah. yeah. All right, cool. And, um, I was I was um, near where the um, Whole Foods and mm -hmm. Planet Organic or whatever okay, it's called, yeah, that yeah, place, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, I went in there, right? And then um, I saw that, but they don't have calories on their ones. Okay. So, and I was just thinking like, how you could quite easily burn through half your calorific limit mm -hmm. just having two. That tastes so good though, man. You have two, two almond croissants. Yeah. You're about 1500 calories deep. Yeah, man. And like, do you know what? I'll that's take, that's yeah. that's wild. Yeah, man. You're like, how am I getting fat? Yeah, man. I love that kind of stuff. Sometimes when I'm in my gluttonous moments, right, I'll look at a meal and be like, that's all of my calories for the day and a bit for tomorrow. And I'm going to eat that right now. Have you had a pistachio croissant? I have had a pistachio croissant. They're quite fucking delicious <laughs> as well, bro. They're delicious as well. Listen, anybody listening? French people know how to just hide calories in these little cloud <laughs> cloud cloud desserts that they have. If you if you've never had a pistachio croissant, mm. right, and you're listening to this, ain't got a close fan. case getting to the mic. If you've never had a pistachio croissant, if you, I'm, I'm sort of getting deeper as well, right, because I need to make this. <sighs> no, 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 don't do that. Uh, no, that is wild, okay, bro. Cool, 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 cool. <laughs> uh. <laughs> This is disgusting, <laughs> right? That is Marcus Bronzy. Je um, t'aime. If you have never had a pistachio croissant, right? Mm. Go out. I mean, I don't know where you're situated, right? But mm. go and Google where you can get a pistachio croissant near you. There mm -hmm. might be a nice bakery around you. Mm. Go there. Ask if they do a pistachio croissant. Mm. When you see this, mm. when you tear it apart, mm. if it is fresh, mm. Let me tell you. And warm in the middle. They're a little very, bit moist too. Yeah. Ooh, yes. There's so many flavours that you're going to experience. Mm. And you're just going to you're just gonna thank us. And you're going to be like, wow, I, I, I didn't have a clue. And now I do. And when you're on your deathbed and they're like, you know, if you didn't eat a croissant every single day for the last 40 years of your life, you, could, you probably could have lived for 10 years longer. You'd be like, I didn't need those 10 years because I had the joy <laughs> of a pistachio croissant every single day. Yeah, well, man. I mean, they're, they're raising a pension age of 71. How do you feel about that? Well, apparently there was an article saying... Listen, I'm down with it because I get it. We are live... Our, our generation is doing 120. We to be, to be a centurion... Is that right? the right word? Centurion? At our age, in our generation, I don't think it's going to be a big deal anymore. I don't even think the monarch needs to write us a letter. That? I think if you bust 110, that's when you get a letter. Everything needs to go up. Yeah, bro. So you're saying age, age is inflated now as well. There's inflation th with ages as well. A hundred percent. That's what it is. Let Listen, me tell you here's, that, how, yeah. here's how retirement used to work. Yeah, you used to get a pension that lasted till you died, right? And that pension probably, you and you probably died at 65, 70, yeah? Now, people are busting 90, 100, 90, 100, 90, 100, 100, yeah? There's an old saying, is it three scores and a 10? 70 years, if you hit that, you've had a great innings, yeah? I will say. Now... We are going to be busting. Bro, look at how much people know about fitness. We have medicine is amazing. People are eating better. Have you seen the pubs on a Thursday and Friday night? I've seen them on Thursday and Friday night. They're bustling. That's the generation above us, bro. No, it's not. It is, bro. It is, bro. It's, I'm what? telling you now, bro. We're, no, we're, we're going to... Anyway, back to, the, back to the no, point. No, hold on, hold on. Back you to the point. You think they're above... You think it's the generation above us because the alcohol has aged them, the, to, <laughs> Yeah, that's true. That's true. I can't lie. <laughs> but back to the point, though. I think we're going to live longer. So, yeah, it's going to have to go up, bro. It's I think the social contract is dead, right? And I think all these boomers... I'm not, I, don't, I don't want us lot to be paying for these boomers. Things. So, if you're, if you're, if you're going to do that, just get rid of NI. Let them because we're paying for their pensions, and nah. they've all got big houses and whatever. Mm, you know what? I don't know about if that. You but got, I know if, if, we, if you own a house, you're not entitled to a state pension. All I <laughs> that's dread. All I know is if if you're gonna live equity, to equity, big man, <laughs> use that equity. If you're gonna live to 120, you bought you bought a house for 20 bags. It is now worth <laughs> 1.7 mil. Fucking use some of that equity for your retirement, is, bro. Yeah, that is mad. some of these numbers. I can't lie. I've, I looked at, and we won't get into it because it's just be boring. It's like, <laughs> fucking up. No, 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 no. But people, that is my point. People tripped up, fell over, bumped their head, and bought a house by accident. 
<laughs> years ago. And, and now, and now it's worth like two point yeah. seven mil. But do you know what's Big mad though? Okay? Use the equity. Do you know what's mad for us, Kado? Is we have it better than the generation below us. I don't know what. But that's those why I'm saying for those. Lot, they're lot, they're, they're, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, the social yeah, contract yeah. said the idea that we all pay an I because we're them lot ain't gonna see a pension. I don't know about that, but and, anyway, and and and, and they got to wait two weeks for an appointment or for phone consultation. Anyway, <laughs> but, but, yeah, well, that's two different things. But no, it's ba- not. That's what we're paying NI for and taxes and <laughs> yeah. other taxes. But like, what was the retirement age for me? Basically, is if you live to the age of seventy, middle age is thirty-five, right? If you're living to the age of one hundred and twenty, what is forty then? Do you know what I'm saying, though, bro? Uh, you, uh, listen, Marcus, man. You, you, you give me too much numbers. <laughs> it's simple numbers, bro. <laughs> yeah, 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 you know, bro. We're, get, we're getting older, <laughs> so look, it's got to happen. I don't, no, no, I'm not working until 71, bro. You must be out of your goddamn mind, bro. I would love to work till I'm 71. Honestly. But that is, and I'll be doing something I like. If it's like fucking hard labour at 71, I don't think I'd enjoy that as much. But then again, I know some 60-year-olds that fucking love it, bro. I, stop, think, can't stop yeah, I, think, I think your uh, retirement age should depend on the work you do as well. If it's not labour, I think you can work for a bit longer. Because when you're older, you're battered. Like a have you seventy-one-year-old bricklayer. Yeah, that's mad. carpenter. Yeah, long. Jeez, lost oh, a few fingers over the years because you know shit not happens. To, not to be ageist in it, but if I if someone turns up to mm. fit a kitchen for me, yeah, and they're like, I'm seventy-four this week. Yeah, I'm a bit worried about the speed at which that job's getting. <laughs> It depends how you know. It depends how vibey they, they look. They shouldn't you know? be working. It depends how vibey they look, though, man. It's it's a vibe, isn't it, bro? For any worker, if they've got that energy I, to them, some I'm, people love it. You know, I'm very scared of the future. I saw the Apple Vision Pro come out, right? <laughs> God, yeah. Go this on. isn't a tech podcast, but we're gonna fucking talk about it, right? Yeah, go because for it. this. Wait, what do you think of the retirement age going up before we go? On? Me? Yeah. I think I, I understand why they're suggesting it, mm. but I laugh at the fact that in France they've just upped it to 63, and everyone was going. Rah! Yeah, mad, yeah, yeah, like yeah. protests all over the place and we're like 71 and like yeah it's got see what that's happened <laughs> the french were like you mad 63 you must be out of your goddamn mind bro right the idea that you know we don't tax capital gains as much as we tax income tax is wild to me as well you know that like old people are one of and and i'm that, i'm not upset with this by the way old people are one of the biggest costs for all of our taxes though bro you know that in it looking after elders so we got we got to look after people, bro. So let me tell you, yeah. let me tell you. I don't know who made this whole idea of kicking your parents out. What's it? Leaving your parents' house, like popular and blah 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 blah. blah. I think intergenerational households bring it back. Are, they're phenomenal. Is that what you're saying? Bring yeah. it back, bro. If if for example, right, let's mm-hmm. say let, you for example, you got a big family, you got a mm-hmm. wife, mm-hmm. your children all mm-hmm. living under one roof, and your dad, your mo- your dad's there, your mum's mm-hmm. there, whatever. They can look after the kids, whatever, everything's been... Obviously, now the space and time and stuff isn't there as well. But how nice is it? Oh, where's granddad? Mm-hmm. Oh, tell granddad his, his tea's ready. Like yeah. Jack, That kind of thing, I feel like... Is there stuff stopping people from doing that? Or is it just Instagram that's telling people they need to go out there and explore the world and get an out-of-body experience oh. in, in, in Asia I think, and then, I think and then come a, back and buy a flat? And I think there's a lot, of, a lot of people that go, oh, you've got to leave the house at 18. I, I find it mad when parents have kids and they just want them out by the fucking time they're 16. They're like, I can't wait till they're gone. I can't wait till they're gone. <laughs> the fuck did you have them for then? Why did you have them for? Not saying that like you, you never experienced the yeah. world and whatever, but like obviously now like... Especially in London, like, good luck if you're going to buy a house. I've got a friend that was looking at houses oh. and <laughs> they're all in the mills. <laughs> I think it's some, I think there's something charming about having an intergenerational family in a house. Yeah. I think it's nice. I, I, I think if, if you've got a space for it. Yeah, if you've got a space for it or even if you haven't and you guys have got to suffer for a bit and struggle, it helps to really help the generations afterwards. Because we've seen people who's, I've, I know people whose parents just did that and, and worked and stuff and the kid, the fruits that the kids bared from it yeah. was great it's will mad. it happen will it still work yeah. nowadays if you did it nowadays because of the way society's going I don't know but I think there's something it's mad it. there's so many people that have like a spare room in their house mm-hmm. and then their mum just lives by themselves depressed yep. alone yep. Uh, but I just move your mum into your spare room bro yeah man but also I know some people need space in it it's, it's a funky one because society's changed again like people are going on the on the gram and they're experiencing everyone else's experiences like everyone presumes that they should have a certain level of like this or certain level of that like i've seen certain people like there's so even there's even a the guy on social internet me- is dictating how we should live yeah man wow, there's even a guy on social media right. who's like flames up his mum because he doesn't like the way his mum communicated with him while he's growing up i don't know if you've seen this clip flying around and for me personally i was like not everything needs to be recorded for me what i'm yeah yeah exactly <laughs> well you said that about his podcast but like for me i'm like you ha- you never we will never 
understand that it, the, it's like what I said about if the rock comes in, Roman Reigns is never going to be that. I will never have the knowledge that my parents have combined or their or my grandparents have combined. However much I might think my dad's doddery or whatever, like, oh my God, your fucking parents have managed to live longer than you. They've managed to achieve that. So for that, you have to fall back and relax in it. That you will never catch up. No. You will they, never catch up still, with them. By the time you've caught up with them, said that, I agree with that to brag sentiment. about. I, I agree with that sentiment. Having said that, they still don't remember their email passwords. <laughs> <laughs> oh bro all that all that to, for you to be like Marcus bro, the way my dad locked himself out of his iCloud blood DL <laughs> Marcus <laughs> blood DL bro Marcus bruv the way that he locked himself out of the iCloud bruv the, I, the work I, I had to put in to try and get him back in bro I, I do you know how many times I've had to reset my dad's passwords for everything I'm like I'll set it up for him to do something and he'll be like I'll be like what's your email yeah I don't know yeah. what do you mean you don't know dad it's on your phone is mm. it Mm-hmm. Which like which um, like what's the password? You give me the password. It's not working. Ah, oh, that's for the other one. Oh, so how about you give me the password for this account? Oh, all right, cool, 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 cool. You get me? You're like, yeah, yeah. You're just like, hold on. How do you? <laughs> I don't know whether I'd be happy for them to have a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight password or not. I don't know if that that is a sensible idea. Technically, so I know it's not security safe, but how much easier would life be if everything was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight? For, for a lot of them, lot as well. What are you really signing up to? What are you using the email? It's not like they've got like important emails coming to them. Like like yeah. ma mad important emails. Yeah, you know what I mean? yeah, yeah. Like I put all my parents like important stuff to come to me. Cause mm, I'm like, mm, <laughs> I'm, mm, like mm. I'm like, I don't, yeah. you're going to miss it on your yeah. fucking emails. Yeah. <laughs> it's funny though. I've, I've seen my dad doing Zooms. He's got the camera right now, but I've looked over his shoulder at Zooms when he's talking to other people of his age paper. Bruv, the camera angles are hilarious. I'm seeing nostrils, ears. I'm seeing under jaw. I'm, I'm seeing everything but a full face. And I'm like, and I like, <laughs> got to my dad like, yo, sorry to disturb you, but is it always like this? He's learned to me, he's like, this is a good day. <laughs> <laughs> I think the first 20 minutes is all them going, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you uh, hear me? I know what's going on with yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. I know what's going. It must yeah. be mad though. Like for if you think about it, yeah. For a lot of these, like yeah, I don't know about our parents, but some older people like for, to have gone to, from a stage where like, it's like extra, extra, read all about it yep. in the roads. Yep. To now, like I mean, it's not that bad, but um, for every like to go from that to mm -hmm. like FaceTiming people yeah. in HD, yeah, the cutting edge of technical of music must, technology. Yeah, early days mad. was vinyl for my parents yeah that was the cutting edge of music technology they'd managed to take all of this music and put it into this small 12 inch disc yeah <laughs> yeah i actually i actually I'm, I'm actually a massive fan of bringing back like um physical music yeah yeah because what think, format do you know why i don't know how but like you know like streaming services could just take down your favorite album yeah and, and they've been doing it with films and tv series and you'll never mm -hmm. see them again and you're like Hold on, but I like that. It's happening in gaming as well. Like, so they've, uh, so certain companies, you would have a game that you might buy digitally and they can just pull it from the platform. So there is something to be said about physical ownership. Anyway, Vision Pro. What do you mean anyway, bruv? What do you mean anyway? No, I was no, asking you fucking, wow. Sorry, sorry. Did sorry, anyone sorry. else experience that? <laughs> wow. No, I was like moving on. I was like, great answer, but let, let, I, I, I mean, that's not, that's even worse. Yeah, great answer, but moving on. Wow. Vision Pro. Wow. No, I'm sitting in that, bro, for a little while. Let me just take this on board. Wow. Okay, cool. Because I'm going to have a nice little conversation about music. I mean, I think there might have been a joke in there for UK. It's all right. Yeah, go on. Vision Pro. Vision Pro. Go on. I saw a hilarious video. Anyway, that's great. So, Meta Quest. Go <laughs> go on. Go on. Go on. Um, <laughs> the Vision Pro, yeah? Well, how, firstly, what do you think about the Vision Pro? Uh, I mean, how long have I got to answer? 30 seconds? Long time. 90 bro. minutes? As long as you, as long as you, you got, want. Okay, um, it's one of them ones, right? Like with AI, everyone's running around like, with their hair on fire. My summary is, it's an expensive device. If you think of it as a device to do VR stuff, but if you think of it as just like a big TV, which is essentially what it is, three and a half bags for a 4k tv which does a bit more now we're talking about something that's a bit more reasonable in price do you get what i'm saying 
Um, I think it's. I think people are gassed over it, man. Pe- like, I, like, I, I think once they get smaller. Yeah, because we are in the like yeah. Nokia thirty three ten version yep. of this right yep. now. Yep, yep, yep. That's yep. where it it's is Mark right. One. This yeah. is Mark One. Yeah. So once we get to the iPhone level of this, yeah, yeah, yeah. or like, do you know what I mean like yeah, yeah. the smartphone version yeah. of this? It is going to be nuts, bro. But I saw one video of a guy coming out of the Tesla truck, right, and he's doing all these gestures <laughs> yeah. and whatever, and it was like, what the fuck is on your? What is so important for you Gassing. to have there? Yeah, whatever. Gassing. And one thing I don't like about it is, obviously, if you're wearing the Vision Pro, you yeah. can see everything going on around you, but yeah. people can't see your eyes. So yeah. Yeah, there's no eye contact. But what I, what I saw with that video was someone's comment made me laugh mm. so much because he came out of the Tesla truck and people, someone was like, and he came out with precisely no bitches. Yeah. <laughs> 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 That's hilarious. Which... I mean, I'd never use that language, but I, I found that so fucking funny because it was like, yeah, like you were a bit of a dweeb to be using to be yeah. using this while you're driving. Yeah, and then to- I think it's people gassing it. So with that, with the Vision Pro, they've actually got a little LCD thing on the front of it where it's meant to show your eyes through it, like a representation of your eyes. But it don't work that well because it's kind of dim. But like, bro, I think got it's Mark One. I've not got one, but I've had a little go. But like, it's Mark One. There's there's so many. Do you know what, bro? I think people are getting excited. There's a reason why keyboard and mouse has been living for so long and done so well in it. Like there's Someone a reason we why last week in it, like about like mm. where we want switches and Pe- stuff. People we want to t- want- you can't beat you can't beat keyboard and mouse for a lot of things. And the Vision Pro is cool. And I've, I've been saying to people, VR is like cool, but mixed reality, AR, whatever it is, that's where it's at. If you can wear glasses and we can have the information up in front of us, like it scans your face, K, whatever, mm. birthday tomorrow. Remember to say happy birthday. That's where we'll be at. That's cool. And to put screens around, that's cool as well. It's nice. Like I said, if you ain't got a TV and you're going to spend three bags on a TV, look at getting an Apple I Vision I saw Pro. someone using it on a plane and I was like, I would love to use it on a plane. Right. Or you can connect it. It can connect to your screen on your phone. It can yeah, connect so to your what laptop. He do- what he done on the, on the plane mm-hmm. was sick. Like he had a big screen up yeah. Yeah. to watch TV, mm-hmm. like a film. Mm-hmm. And then he had other screens up with like work yeah. and all of that sort of stuff. Yeah. So he could be doing work mm-hmm. while he's doing. And there was none of that. Oh, where's my yeah flight seat like you know the, yeah. like the, the the folding table yeah, yeah. or whatever the folding tray or whatever there was none of like fucking around with that or whatever it was yeah. like you've got more space and you're still just doing this and whatnot i'd and still say like, it's easier to type on a keyboard than it is to yeah, type on what that. typing on thin air yeah, of course. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, they need to fix they need to fix that up or just i haven't seen it or used it and um i'm not using it at the moment i don't think i'll use it i'll get one and i'll get you to have a go on it it's cool once you get used to it, I think it's cool, but it I just don't. Mad heavy. I don't think it's gonna. It is fucking heavy. That's why they've had to put the battery pack in a separate thing because it's it's weighty, bruv. It's weighty, and that's a thing as well. Like when you wear these things, it's resting on the bridge of your nose on your face. You can feel it after a little while. It's cool. I just feel like like everyone's running around with AI and Chat GPT and been scared about it killing everyone and changing the world. This ain't gonna change it yet. Like you said, it's Mark, it's Mark One, bro. Yeah, it's but a it's, nice it's device. a sign of what's coming. Big up and, Apple. Yeah. They've kind of taken that. They've taken the iPhone, the iPad, the Mac and they've tried to smush it together and it's a good vibe it's a good look it's probably one of the better pass-throughs as well when i say pass-through like you'll put it on and you can see your hands through it that looks cool but like all of these guys that are on the internet when they're like on the train doing this thing i think they're just stunting i think they're just fucking yeah, yeah. plucking their hands they're there trying is... to do like they're trying to do like all like... of this just to scroll twitter like this it's a bit mad in it three and a half brags to scroll twitter like this on a it's long <laughs> that's long bruv that's long do you know how annoying yeah. that must be as well like say you're cramped in and you're like Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. It's long. It's long. It's long. People were just looking at you. Like, what the fuck are you looking at? But to be on a plane and watch how- a 4K screen, that's nice, though. Bro. Yeah, yeah. That's the, nice. That, that is sick. The, the 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 thing I was laughing about most was the outrage of some people that bought the Vision Pro and um, realized that VR porn wouldn't play on it. <laughs> oh, that that could make the that could make the Vision Pro blow. You know, blow. Funny word, because porn has changed how we consume media. Porn is they're why streaming is where it's at. You know, you can record spatial gonna... video where it's like three D, like, and when and then you can watch it back on the Vision Pro. So if somebody wants to record some spatial porn and send that to the Vision Pro, that will have some three D energy to it, bro. And then all you need is someone to create a little device that connects sucky, to your sucky, crutches. 3, little, yeah, sucks you up three thousand. That's all you need, bro. You need that, and then people that will be cracking on. That could change nasty. the game for people. I yeah. don't like where we're going. What with that? Yeah, that's. So much degeneracy. You know what? Like, I'll be honest, Kay. Like, I don't get as scared about stuff as other people, but I will say, like, the younger generation, they've got no fucking, like, oh, I sound like such an old man, but I feel, no, I don't feel like an old man. 
I feel like there's some pizzazz missing from some of their and it, like I feel like communication like I'm I see communication between young people and stuff like that and maybe I was as awkward as that yeah it's not even as awkwardness I feel like they don't communication face to face isn't as much of a thing for them but then I guess they don't need to do it as much though bro but I just feel like I've been in situations around young people and I've like heard them be like oh no you can't do that I'm like go talk to them man like go play or whatever I was that kid that if I saw kids playing in a park when I was nine I'd be like can I play no one's ever said no to me. To be fair, we all used to do Do you ever that. do that? Yeah, yeah, I did that plenty of times. Make friends you? from that, you know. Just be like, oh, can I... Come? Or like somebody would join you and be like, can I Can I, Can I? I join in? And be like, yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely cool. fuck off, you cunt. You want me to bang you out? No, joke, no, you'd say, you yeah, ask join them to join in. you. Yeah, 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 cool, whatever. Yeah, yeah we've got we got an yeah, extra man. Yeah. yeah, why not? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, I don't... I mean, I, I don't hang around young people like that, but yeah. or know any young people too tough like that, but... So I can't... I, I only see it from the outside and their entertainment, and it annoys me, so... Um, <laughs> <laughs> you're right but look vision pro i'm like, I'm is, like, I'm like this is yeah. this is who you're who you're mm. idealizing okay yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. vision pro is cool bro generation <laughs> fun level. vision pro is cool k i think you'd have a bit of fun with it someone like yourself i don't know where you would use it like uh, where, know, where would you exactly. apart from a plane where would you, where'd you use it i would be in bed mm -hmm. working in bed with it on me so then it wouldn't be hurting my face so that. you'd have like a keyboard on your on your on your like belly and <laughs> yeah is like, that what you'd be doing yeah bro you could be working in bed, like, and your head is on a pillow, and you're just looking at like work. It's like, yeah, cool. Next one. Sounds like an absolute nightmare for me when I'm in that, bed. We're gonna be I like Wooly. It would be like Wooly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That that that's why I think like part of it will get us like Wooly. And then I know they're gonna get try and get some fitness stuff on there as well. But it's, I don't know, man. I feel like at a time where we are so beholden to screens. Mm. I think there is a gap in the market that could provide community, right? For for someone that can provide community for people, and and there is areas of this in in in, in physical yeah. like in physical yeah. terms. So like yeah. this is why CrossFit and High Rocks and that stuff so popular. Forty five and all that. Yeah, yeah. So that's why it's so popular to a lot of people as well because once they go there, it turns into a community, and they're like people make friends from it and whatnot right and then they go out together and have socials together and and i get it that's why i like being part of a football team is great or like a or like people i know mm -hmm. people that play in hockey teams and netball teams and it's like you do that and it it's like oh it's a sense of belonging right and that's all people really want is yeah. to belong to something and some of my friends i've heard them say like because you know there's been turbulence in entertainment and in in gaming and stuff like that. a lot of people get laid off a lot of my friends have been saying they don't want fully remote jobs because they want to go into the office and make friends and socialize and stuff well like that. i mean the prime example is uh i was talking about this with somebody else recently um you worked at radio one on one extra right yeah. um and <laughs> do you, you you remember back in its heyday how busy those offices used to be yeah man buzzing like literally like not just there the whole of the bbc building mm -hmm. was buzzing right so so you imagine someone's come right straight out of uni 21 moved to london got a job there mm -hmm. right that would then become the place where they made their friends mm -hmm. and had their social life or whatever that's it, sh same, it yeah. shapes people culturally like i know young people that started at one extra radio one and it's become part of their identity yeah like, it's, it's them that you can see them i know people that came i know some people that came in fresh off work experience and i was in work experience there they came in green as fuck now you can tell that the they've they're like they are it's become them yeah you know what i mean well but the same person now for example gets a job at that same station now it's not bustling like that anymore because people come in for their show go away mm -hmm. most of the jobs are done remotely like most of the big meetings are done remotely i don't mm -hmm. know i mean this is me looking from the outside seeing how like the building operates because anytime i've been there nobody's there mm -hmm. and uh, it's like wow like this is if, if you're if you're 21 and all you're doing you've come to london now you're living in a house share with people and all your job all your, all your colleagues you're only ever meeting over zoom it's what do you do where do you find friends how do you make friends as an adult i hear people saying a lot of other cities in around the world are lonely they, like London can be lonely. Like even if, like for example, you worked, you go to Manchester for a job, and they're like, "We need you here," but you're only in once a week. And you're like, <laughs> "I don't know anyone here." You know what? I'll be honest with you. I get that, but I think my point of view is tainted from the fact that because I worked in entertainment from a very young age, I've all I've done is socialize. So for me, yeah. so it's, it's, it's I yeah. get I get what you're saying. For me, I I struggle with that because in my head, I'm like, 
now, for example, if I go back into like a production based environment, my number one requirement is, can I work from home? Can I work from the studio, this studio that I, own? I, hear you. I don't want to see faces if I don't want to see them, but that's because I've been blessed. But like you said, for someone who has like a life where they move to another place, the work is where you, that's where you're, that's social. That's where you make friends. Couple drinks, lunch, brunch, go football club, whatever. That's where, because I remember when I worked in the office, I joined the five aside team, like whatever. And even if you were shit, they would have preferred you to come and play than if you were just like, oh, I'm not coming. Do you know what I mean? So there's some people on our five size team that were trash. Do you get me? But if they this didn't turn fine. up, they'd you're be like, so... where were you at football yesterday, no, but, mate? No, but yeah, but you're like, we're not fucking playing mm -hmm. the World Cup, bruv. It's well, you know, there's always, <laughs> yeah. I was going to say, there's always but one. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah, go uh, on. no, but it's like yeah. that, that level of social interaction now is, mm -hmm. is, is dissipating in a lot of places and it's quite scary and it's sad in a lot of things. Like, yeah. you, nobody, nobody really, I don't know, man, like, Obviously, on the other hand, you see like pubs on Thursdays and Fridays in the city are fucking bustling. Some are, some are. But I've, honestly, I've been to some places on a Thursday and Friday and they're quieter because most people, Thursdays you'll get buzzing maybe or Wednesdays, but I'll a lot of people real. are not in Soho, on a Friday. Soho, Monday to Thursday is dead. Yeah. Yeah. I've been working a, a lot around there recently mm, and mm, it is mm, dead. Mm. But then you'll have other areas like Canary Wharf or Paddington on a Friday, Thursday, dead. But did you see that there was um, this Chinese, I read somewhere that this um, Chinese firm bought a bunch of buildings in Canary Wharf for like 250 mil or something. And it's gone down to about 170 mil. Mad. They're losing money. Wow. They're losing money because nobody's going in. Yeah. So like Alan Sugar was on TV going, oh, we need people to go into the offices. Yeah, Nothing man. to do with the fact that he owns a lot of re commercial real estate. <laughs> 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 I mean, we don't own any real estate, but I do understand, like, obviously, look, man, people can work how they want, but I feel like once, for younger people, it's, it's, it's probably more important to be able to go into the office. That's why I feel like cheap travel is so important. It is, and you know what? London's travel is not the cheapest, but no, it is a blessing in terms of convenience. Like, Not honestly, just London, but I think, let's, yeah. to not make the whole conversation London-centric, yeah. but I feel like, around the UK, in it, like, it's getting really expensive for everyone to travel. To get two different places in the UK... Yeah. It's becoming like that's that's I think when you're in a localized place, and again, I don't know all the UK, it's reasonable. But if you want to travel to one place or another, that's when it becomes mad. So and that's always been the limit. It's like it's been an intentional like block so that you can't go and work in Birmingham for the day because really on a train it's not that bad. But then when you do the maths for you to work in Birmingham for the day, if you're coming from London is going to be mad. Or I was like, saying, if like, imagine driving. if we had the bullet trains, right? I was saying this yeah. to someone recently. Imagine if we had the bullet trains that they have in Japan. Mm -hmm. You could get from here to Manchester or here to Glasgow mm. in about an hour. Mm. Like, like, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Birmingham, ridiculous. 50 minutes. Ridiculous, ridiculous. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Like, if you, but, and I think it would, it would create bigger cities and it would create a lot more prosperity outside because then if you, like right now, people are like, oh yeah, well, I'm not going to go and move there because work it will take ages to get into work whereas if you're like I'm well yeah and that's where to flip it back to the remote thing that works for some people because I know some people that live in Wales come into work once a week or once a fortnight bruv they've got a fat yard they're very nice and comfortable they go in to work they do their work and they do the rest remotely but they're in a different stage of life they're not as social so they've got a family and whatever but for them that's the perfect mix and I think for me personally moving forward I would love a mix of remote and I think for young people, it's a good way to, one, learn how to work a bit by yourself, but then to go in a little bit as well and learn off others. Because you can't just learn. Well, you can learn off YouTube, to be fair, but I think being in an environment with other people, you can learn so much. You can much. learn so much more, and I just think it's so much more fun, man. You make so much more memories. Even, I, 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 like, I like doing job when I was just in sales, bro. The banter. Are you When I worked at West End DJ, Tottenham Court Road, yeah. are you mad, bro? The bants that we were busting up like selling deep selling dj equipment bro some of the best time in the world man yeah i i agree with you but i i i mean i see the flip side where like if you're working a job and you don't really like your colleagues oh yeah and you just like, <laughs> like man's just, man just here to get a check bro like, yeah. i don't want to socialize with you man this is whatever bro i've been i've been checked out of a job I, 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 I say this point, the time when i got i was doing sales and i was like oh that's a bit fucked up or whatever Did i tell you about that that's some point so no, was, let's do it let's yeah. do it on a patreon <laughs> all right cool 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 yeah. man cool. Uh, thanks for the gang that have been supporting us on the patreon if you're not there mm. join us they mm. say better extra content sign up price coffee there you whatever. go i mean i don't drink coffee anymore but apparently 
Yeah, for the price of a peppermint tea or two, uh, come and join us. Also, everything that we get that we do, it comes out early without any ads as well. And, Kay, and, and when we're, when we, Kay when, when we're both feeling up, we have actually tried to plan some extra content, but we've both been <laughs> fucked. I'm genuinely like, we're planning more content. The, we, it, like January came and we were like, oh shit, we both got ill. So yeah, yeah, yeah. we're yeah, back, man. It, we're, we're, once we're both fighting fit, there's more content coming. Peace. In your ear hole soon. <laughs>